Dozens of people chanting and discussed they were wearing pig noses. The outburst as the Metro Council in a crucial vote tonight says yes to a new contract for LMPD lieutenants this evening. Hello everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. The contract will immediately bring 8% raises and increase pay 20% by the year 2023. Moments before, council members acknowledge concerns they still have that the deal doesn't do enough to improve accountability, but the move to rebuild the police department is heading forward. WHS 1119's Isaiah Kim Martinez covered the vote. He's live downtown with all the reactions tonight. Isaiah. Well, Doug, even minutes before the vote, a couple council members admitted they were still on the fence, all while the majority of the crowd wanted to send the contract back and start over. To no avail, it passed 18-8 right after emotions boiled over. Thank you. The resolution passes. A decision immediately met with pushback. My son over two years ago. Folks wasting no time leaving the chamber in disgust. After Metro Council members passed a new contract for LMPD lieutenants and captains, meaning immediate raises going forward. The contract is a component of certainly of keeping people here, putting some rights expectations in place. But at the end of the day, the department simply has to do a better job of holding itself accountable. Speaking to the council before the vote, Chief Erica Shields made a final push to ratify the deal. Met with questions, not about the dollar amount, but concerns whether the deal would limit early intervention when complaints are made within the department. We have heard that we have one, but we never turned it on. Chief Shields confident this won't be an issue. Formalizing how the discipline will be handled, and more importantly, where it will be held. Uncertainty extended throughout the night. The audience holding signs reading, vote no, some wearing pig noses. One resident addressing council over Zoom. FOP contracts have blocked accountability measures from being implemented. Moments before the vote, council members weighing pros. This is not a perfect contract, uh, but it is a substantial substantial improvement. If we send this back to the negotiation table, we stay in place with the current contract with a lack of reform. And weighing cons for provisions some desperately want, but that aren't in the fine print. And the next contract, let's end paid suspension for police misconduct. Let's make sure use of force is a fireable offense. So it's not clear to me how informal complaints are supposed to be handled exactly how long they're supposed to be kept for. The aftermath. A yes vote, satisfying some and sending others straight to the elevators. Now, what about officers and sergeants? The contract tentatively agreed upon for them was voted down by the police union a couple months ago. We spoke with the mayor's office tonight. They provided us a statement. They say, quote, we are working with the FOP council right now on next steps. Live in downtown Louisville, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side and for the night team. Doug.